So traditionally in Ireland and in healthcare and particularly in relation to the chronic diseases that we care for in the hub, COPD, asthma, diabetes and cardiovascular disease, patients have experienced long waiting times. The reason for this has primarily been because the focus of care has been in the acute hospital where there are other competing demands. By now moving the focus of care back out into the community, it means that patients can access their services quicker. In total, for chronic disease, we have about 35 people working in the team. We're located in floor two of the building and we have staff working here who also work in CUH. It's a brand new building across three floors. It's amazing, there's loads of light and all new equipment, loads of space, a lot of space that we didn't have previously. When you come in first, you've got our big nice reception desk. Then we've got cardiology first um, and then you come to respiratory and we've also got diabetes and podiatry on this floor. We have a gym for pulmonary rehab, a gym for cardiac rehab, we have an education room and we have lots of consulting rooms. So the best thing about this building is it's taking um, clinics away from hospitals. So when you go to a hospital, you nearly feel like you're sick. But when you come here, you're in your local community. So we're not dragging people into hospitals for something that can be done closer to home. It's a very positive environment with uh, the right team in the right place, close to their homes and uh, with this easy access to us, when they need it, we're here for them. Our patients are susceptible for infections, especially uh, the flu, COVID infection. So in the, our PFT lab and your, our clinical rooms, they have a, a special ventilation to uh, protect our patients from getting infected. We always hear about long waiting lists, but we know that the hubs can really help, that we see people on average kind of maximum um, within two months. I suppose the main positives are they're seen very fast and they're always very grateful. Like there's lots of parking, we have lots of flexible appointments that you're not having to take the whole day off. You also get access to everything within the same building that you're not having to go to three or four different places. People are really happy with the service, they're doing very well and ultimately that's the goal of a goal of it. People are staying out of hospital and feeling much better. So the patients we see here predominantly would have uh, respiratory conditions such as COPD and asthma. Um, they come to us for pulmonary rehab. Uh, what that entails is we basically have uh, an eight week exercise, six to eight week exercise program to come to us twice a week. Uh, during that exercise program we help them to increase their exercise tolerance in a safe environment. Um, we also provide them with educational sessions regarding their condition and strategies like pacing, airway clearance, breathless management, stuff to kind of trying to give them the tools to manage their condition. And when they leave here what we want them to do, we want them comfortably do, following the kind of the HSE guidelines of exercise, able to exercise maybe four or five times a week for 30 minutes at a safe level. My role here is to help cardiac patients become the best that they can be. So people who've had a heart attack or they might have had a stent put in or they might have had a bypass surgery. Also people with what they call heart failure. Now heart failure is a terrible term but it just means that the heart isn't as efficient as it was before. I see people flourish during cardiac rehab. Now that might be hard for people to understand but the people who've done cardiac rehab will understand that completely. People come out of themselves, they, they, they even stand straighter after about three weeks. Usually about three weeks into it their, their fitness levels begin to improve and they begin to feel better. I would just say to people, if you do get an invite to cardiac rehab, give us a chance. It's very positive and it makes, makes a huge difference in people's lives. It increases their confidence and they, they get their mojo back and they can forget about their cardiac condition and go on and live their lives, which is what we all should be doing. You know, what's important to you is your family, your kids, travel, the things that make you tick. It shouldn't be your condition. So we, we'll give you the tools that you need to learn about your condition so that you can forget about it, basically. <laughs>